and we are live beautiful it's finally here ghost of tsushima a game about feudal japan something that is sorely lacking actually uh we've been getting a decent amount of games set in japan lately just not big triple a titles unfortunately but um We've been waiting a long time for this. It's been a few years since this was announced. Um, we're gonna hop right in, but I'm gonna lay down some ground rules. So, uh... <laughs> this is gonna be sweet. Um... This is an incredible game, so I'm gonna do the stream right. Whenever there's a cutscene, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna have the webcam. I'm gonna turn the webcam out off. In fact, the webcam is a little big. There we go. Yeah, cutscenes. Webcam's gone. All right, so don't worry about that. It's just gonna be pure cutscenes whenever that's happening. I respect the game. Anyway, this is the last PlayStation 4 exclusive. It's the last big one. They've released amazing games this generation. PlayStation's definitely dominated. Even the lowest rated game, Days Gone, I thought was, I thought it was great. Of course, I find most games fun. Uh, I even like NASCAR games. You just you drive backwards on the track toward traffic. <laughs> All right, let's let's hop in. Now, of course, this game isn't going to be streamed in HDR. Streams don't really do that. But oh, damn it, I turned HDR off. Why did you turn yourself back on? Damn it! I had a plan, PlayStation. Why did you go against? The plan. Never go against the plan. All right, where the hell is it? Sound and screen. This is in 4K, of course. I don't know why it turned. I did turn it off. It turned itself back on. Oh, that's aggravating. Anyway, this is in 4K. I recommend watching this in 4K if you're not. I can take it. <sighs> Let's go. I'm not gonna be talking during the cutscenes. There's gonna be no face cam during the cutscenes. We're gonna do this right. This is a game set in feudal Japan, and you don't get that very often. I'm gonna treat it with respect. I recommend watching this in 4K if your internet can take it. This is a beautiful game, and I'm streaming it as losslessly as possible. Sucker Punch. It's been a while since we've seen that logo. Oh my goodness. It's gonna take us straight into the cutscenes, but we're gonna get to exploration just as soon as we can. <laughs> the last... PlayStation 4 exclusive. It's been a hell of a generation. Mm. I still can't believe that people didn't like Days Gone all that much. I thought it was great. I actually preferred it to Horizon Zero Dawn. Which is a good game. The Mongol Empire is invading our home. They are brutal. Relentless. Unstoppable. We are 80 samurai against an army fighting to slow the invasion. Today, I die for my people. There must be thousands of them. We will face death and defend our home. Tradition, courage, honor, they are what make us. We are the warriors of Tsushima. We are samurai! Nodadachi, go break their spirits. Outsiders, send your finest warrior to face me. Nada, Jinnida. Ah. 
I am Haru Nobu Adachi, descendant of the legendary Yoshi Nobu Adachi. Lord Sakai, even if it costs us our lives. As a command, Lord Shimura. Damn. Ah, uh, if you don't know much about Ghosts of Tsushima, this is set during the Mongols' invasion of Men, Tsushima. Men, we must hunt down the Mongol leader. Everyone I'm gonna try not to talk over them, me. but I mean, it's... It's a... it's a campaign. There's gonna be a lot of talking. No Mongol dog! Cut right. them down! Let's go. I'm gonna lower the game volume just a little bit. Um, so the combat, this has been... This has been something that's been talked about a lot during the reviews. Some reviews say the combat's too easy. Uh, there's different fighting stances, which I don't believe we have access to yet. But that is a huge part of this game's combat. I'm actually playing on hard difficulty. I forgot to mention that. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that works out for me. Oh my god, the gore. Um, if you're playing this game in Japanese, I thought about playing it in Japanese, but this game was made for the English voice actors and the English voice acting. So, I chose to play it in English, with subtitles. The game hasn't taught me shit. I don't know how to block! Alright, let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, no, I don't believe we can change the fighting stance yet. Okay. Heavy attack, light attack. Got it, got it, got it. Dodge, okay, okay. They just throw you right in there, huh? <laughs> We're all that's left. There is only one path for us. Find the Mongol leader and end the appeal. I'll fight beside you to the end. I know. My god, this looks incredible. Uh, this isn't a supernatural game, by the way. I noticed a lot of confusion a couple years ago when this was first announced in E3, but... I'm on your leader. I'm ready, Uncle. We end this.
I am Kotan, cousin of Kublai, grandson of Genghis. Brother, you are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and wish to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? I'm going to be switching between uh, no face cam and no audio on my part to face cam and audio, depending if it's a big cutscene or not. <laughs> Which might be a mistake, because this game has a lot of them. But one of you asked if you can play this in Japanese. Yes, you can. But all the lip-syncing, all the cutscenes, the in-game characters, it's all lip-synced to English. So, um... <laughs> It's the opposite of the usual dub-sub thing. This game was mostly made to be played in English with the English voice acting cast. But I can totally understand why you would want to play in Japanese. It can be done. You can do it. It's an option. It asks you when you first start the game, actually. Something I'm really excited about with Ghost of Tsushima is the fact that, oh, that's a steep drop, is the fact that the world isn't built around a mini-map, it's not built around waypoints, it's built around just exploring the world organically. I guess in a way like Red Dead Redemption 2, where you see, uh, you see maybe signs of civilization or, uh, uh, saved me. signs of construction, back here. and that's going to guide sword. you through your exploration of this world. There's also stealth, but the stealth isn't really what the game was designed around. The stealth is uh, very basic, which is fine for me because uh, it's considered dishonorable to play sneakily in this game. And I prefer playing like a samurai regardless, but... If you are into stealth, that might be a bit of a disappointment, but I mean, that's like the only low point of the game. This is beautiful. Someone was sharpening their blade. A warrior. The really cool thing about feudal My Japan armor. is... Um, the detail that they went through in crafting this world is just immense. Is this our armor? Broken. Suiting up! But better than nothing. Wait. Like, everything you're seeing in here is period accurate. Hey, I got that thing in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Alright, where's our sword? 
Get this man a shield. I don't think you can use shield. No, wait. There's, en there's enemies with shields. There's a fighting stance that you use specifically against shields, but I don't believe that you can use a shield yourself. I don't think that most samurai used shields. You have spears, and you have swords. But... I think that might be it. Your wounds. Can you run? I... I think so. Where's my sword? Not here. You're on! Here! I'll take care of this. Please, hide. Oh, oh, don't hurt me! Shield of Lumini! Christ! I have some Please, take it. You want your sword? Follow me. How long was I out? Long enough for the Mongols to conquer half the island. Alright, so this isn't gonna be like a perfect no commentary playthrough or anything like that. I'm just... I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the face cam away and my audio away for big cutscenes, alright? <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna be mostly about gameplay. Oh shit, I almost got spotted. Um... That's one hell of a shield he's got. There's a lot of different enemy archetypes, which I'm very excited about. There's duels... ...where, uh, you can kind of... There are certain fights that you can approach with honor, where you can kind of fight one-on-one. -on -one. Which is just too cool! We can do for her. Oh my Let's god. Obviously, uh, this game is about... Uh, you kind of uh, rallying... Actually, I don't know about rallying, because you're not really leading armies. I mean, you're helping, but uh, this is about the Mongol invasion and Jin's journey to stop it. Lord Shimura was with me on the battlefield. Jito? Get him. There's platforming, there's puzzles, you know, I believe. Wait. And a hell of a lot of exploration. Oh, Shimura is my uncle. You're Jin Sakai? The Jito's nephew? I have to know. Did he survive? I think so. The Mongols took him prisoner. Where did they take him? East, along the coast. Toward Castle Canada. They must be holding him inside, celebrating their victory. I could take them by surprise. You'll be killed. Or oh, I'll rescue Lord Shimura. Then help him drive the Mongols into the sea. He can contact the Shogun, call for reinforcements. I didn't nurse you back to health to watch you throw your life away. Why did you save me? I couldn't leave you to die. I need your help. Lord Shimura can help our whole island. And he's the only family I have left. Let's move. Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought that was her! Damn, I don't even have my sword back yet, and I'm dead. You are seen. Ghost of Tsushima's version of you are dead. Is that what they say in Dark Souls? You are dead? <laughs> I think it is. Very clever wordplay. Um, anyway, uh, just the, the fact that they went through 
incredible, incredible amounts of, uh, of, of research and effort into creating this fairly accurate um, virtual world of Feudal Japan is just really exciting. We thought we were going to get an Assassin's Creed Japan. We didn't. I'm sure that'll happen someday, but... I never really liked the modern day stuff in Assassin's Creed, so... Give me Ghost of Tsushima. That's what Assassin's Creed should turn into, in my opinion. Just take out the modern day stuff and just give us... Give us stuff like this. Move. The audio is fantastic. I can't have the audio very loud because uh, my microphone will pick it up. Oh, Jesus. But Sucker Punch, I mean, these guys are awesome developers. It's really cool to finally be playing another Sucker Punch game. I'd love for them to take another crack at Infamous, personally. Um, I didn't finish Second Son. I liked it. But Infamous 1 and Infamous 2 are some of my favorite PS3 games. We cleared the road. If we cross, someone's bound to see us. I'll take that chance. Wait. Oh, God. Damn. I wonder if we'll ever... I don't know. Uh, there's probably people uh, already putting up the ending to this game on YouTube, but I wonder if there's... Uh, uh, here's the platforming, by the way. I wonder if there's going to be a sequel, if there's a cliffhanger at the end of the game. That's the one thing I dislike about streaming single-player games is there's so much dialogue, and if you want to... <laughs> if you want to basically just pirate the game and watch all the cutscenes like you're torrenting a movie, this isn't the channel for that. I like to talk about the gameplay. I like to talk about the gameplay to you, which is why I like live streams because I get I get a chat room. But um, yeah, it's, this is like uh, this is like Mystery Science Theater <laughs> or Rift Tracks, you know. That's what this is. Did you crawl inside the house? Got a long ride ahead. Take whatever supplies you can carry. This is someone's house. And they're not coming back. Something else that's good about this game is that it doesn't have a leveling system. It's, uh, pretty organic. Um... Is the game too dark for you guys? It's- it's a pretty organic evolution. Oh, that's nice! Well, that was a- that one was a user error, but the- the movement feels pretty fluid, which I appreciate. There is crafting, um... Sort of. But it's nothing like Days Gone, of course. The man I traded your sword to lives just up ahead. Hey, grass deformation, nice. This is the best sucker punch game you've played? Well, that's high praise. Toro! Shit. Bastards found it. Stand watch. I'll search that. It must be here. Wasn't there a... Wasn't there a level in... Uh... Oh my god, I can't remember the name. Sly Cooper. Wasn't there a level in Sly Cooper that looked like it was in Feudal Japan? The latest Sly Cooper, I think. I am Jin Sakai. Nephew to the great Lord Shimura. And I am no coward! <laughs> Your enemy is no match for you. But... You still lack control. I was practicing. With your father's weapon? The sword of Clan Sakai... ...has saved lives... ...and ended wars. Who did this to you? No one. I will teach you to defend yourself. I know how to fight. 
To master your blade, you must first control your emotions. I can do that, Uncle. Show me. Let's see what you've been practicing. Try to strike me. Ah, yes, the tutorial. Uncle. Well, this is a fun way to do that, by the way. Lee Garrett! Attack Thank you for the pounding, ready. my man. <laughs> no, really. Thank you, I appreciate that. Try to um, strike me. Okay, okay. Stab attack. That's what I was doing earlier. I thought I was doing a... Is your uh, that's actually you? really cool that they separate the stab attack from heavy attacks. That's a me. great Foley effect. Damn, that's a good Foley effect. I had one of these um, practice swords when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> my friends and I would uh, we'd whack each other with them. We also had play lightsabers, but I had a couple of these wooden samurai swords. Attack! I am ready. I mean, it's not like Star Wars didn't take enough from samurai already. Well done. If you'd fought like that, your attacker would not have bruised you so easily. It wasn't a fair fight. Imagine he's returned to finish what he started. And he'll use every dirty trick he knows. How will you defend yourself? He's big, but I'm quicker. I'll stay out of his reach. Wait for him to get tired. Then drop him with one strike. Good. A samurai must always fight with patience and discipline, even when his opponent resorts to trickery. I'll remember, uncle. Now, break through my defenses. So I'm gonna stop turning off the face cam. This isn't that type of stream, I'm sorry. It's, it's just, it's just too much. There's too many cutscenes. I had good intentions. <laughs> Dad, stop, please! You know, this reminds me, uh, when I was a kid, my grandfather, uh, he used to hit me on the balls with a yardstick when I made a mistake, when I made a mistake playing the cello, and this is kind of like that. Anyway, um, I, so, they've got dialogue options in here, but they, it's the right type of dialogue options, you know? Anthem, it was completely useless, there's no reason to have dialogue options, but here, it's kind of like a test, almost, it's like, a. It's like, um... They present you with dialogue options in an attempt to give you a learning opportunity. Like, uh, here, the dialogue option was kind of tied into my learning. Basically, he was, um... He was teaching me how to go about certain attacks, how to go about certain, uh, certain instances where in combat you don't always want to be the aggressor. In, in this game, that's particularly true. You don't always want to be the aggressor. You want to be on the defensive most of the time. That's how samurai fought in real life. And that's a nice way to demonstrate it. That's a nice way to, to show you. Instead of just having useless, like, um... They always have the same line, and it's only your character that can change dialogue lines. <laughs> like, you've got two dialogue lines, but no matter what you choose, they're gonna say the same thing. I hate that. Either do it like this, or do it like Mass Effect, where it impacts gameplay or the story in a big way. It's time you learn to parry. Wait for me to make the first move. And this is what separates the boys from the men! Oh crap. Oh Jesus, he's fast. I am playing on hard. Ah, God. When I strike, Press L1 parry. late. Fine okay, parry. there's one. That looks so cool. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, these animations are amazing. Damn! Good form, Jin. You're improving. Need to catch your breath? <laughs> It'll take more than a child to knock the wind out of me. Now then, let's see you defend against a spear. Dodge my spear, then follow up with a counterattack. Good reflexes. 
When I trust you dodge. <laughs> oh crap. It's 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 quick dodge. on hard difficulty. Dodge and counter -attack. A fine counterattack. You see, there is no weapon, no warrior you cannot overcome. Thank you for these lessons, Uncle. We are not finished yet. Jin Sakai, will you honor me with a sparring match? I wouldn't want to hurt you. If you're that confident, let's make this interesting. The first to land five strikes gets to choose dinner. I hope you like octopus. <laughs> Okay, okay. Damn, fast. damn, damn, damn. Oh, I'm dead? Damn it. Damn, Dad. Holy Please. shit. I have one last question. For generations, our families have lived by a code. Tell me the virtues that guide us. Loyalty to our Lord. Control over our emotions. And... You know this. Honor. To fight bravely and uphold the legacy of Clan Sakai. Those are your father's words. What does honor mean to you? I guess... Protecting people. The ones who can't fight for themselves. You have a good heart. But first... We must show everyone that we serve our Lord with courage, integrity, and self-control. You say that like it's easy. It's never easy, Jin. I struggle with it every day. But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. That is the meaning of honor. Ah, not her samurai! That's how you know they're doing good things with this game. Oh my god, that music is incredible. And our first kill. Now, we're playing this on hard difficulty. Uh, we're not pulling any punches. Where can I find the um, horse? The stable's on far. This way. Uh, this is going to be about the gameplay from here on out. I'm, I'm still going to take away the face cam for certain cutscenes, but uh, we're just going to make this about samurai combat. This is... The most realistic samurai combat that we've had in a video game so far, it may not be the most difficult, although we are playing on the highest difficulty right now, but you've got um, a surprisingly varied amount of different stances, fighting stances, that you'll need to master and overcome various types of enemies. For instance, those who wield spears versus those who wield swords or shields. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh man. Return to the area, yo! I'm taking the stairs! I'm not taking the shin splinting elevator. Damn. I've never seen a village being burned look so beautiful before. We can get close, slit their throats, and kill them without a sound. Without honor. I will not break my code. Are they gonna give us a choice here? Face me, invader! Yes! They're not giving us a choice, but... Okay, um, we don't have locks, unfortunately, I don't think. Maybe this is... better than locks? I don't know, okay. <laughs> All right. This is interesting. It's actually locked us into uh, like a God of War three camera. Isometric. It's close. We can't 
can't save everyone. I'm done Fixed. running, and I can finally help. Damn it! That's kind of crazy. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm I'm gonna lower the game. Let me know if the game volume is good. But uh, this game isn't really. I mean, this stream isn't really gonna be about the cutscenes or the story. So if you guys wanna, I think I might even start skipping the cutscenes. That way. You're not really gonna get any spoilers. I mean, we're in the literal beginning, so you're not gonna get many spoilers regardless, oh but... Don't let anyone escape. I wanna give you as little spoiler as possible, that. you know? If, if the cutscenes are fresh for you... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just trying to finish my thought, man. Anyway, I'm gonna start skipping the cutscenes. I'm gonna do that. Keep things fresh for you Face guys. Me, invader! Alright, that brought us back here, okay. <laughs> I guess it thinks that I need the, uh, need the practice. Like I said, this is the hardest difficulty, and, um... It's close. Yeah, it, it's gonna kick my ass if I'm not focusing, so let's just... And I can finally help. ...laser Damn ourselves. It. More gods. Don't let anyone escape. Oof. Oh. Now there's two different... There's two different ways that you can, uh, approach combat. One way is stealth, and the other is honor. Thank you, my lord. They said all the sudden. I don't think I can skip cutscenes. I were dead. Do you have somewhere to hide? I heard Golden Temple might be safe. Go. Stay off the roads. And guard your son with your life. You risked your life for them. They couldn't defend themselves. And I... I can't let more of our people die. They're not the only ones who need you. My brother. The Mongols took him. That's why you saved me. Taka is my only family. And Lord Shimura is mine. Please. I just want my brother back. I'll help you find him. After I save my uncle. I promise. I'm coming with you. Stables are just up ahead. Don't mind the sound of my mouse clicking, I'm just adjusting the volume on the fly. Looks like we got another fight on our hands. <laughs> she's an archer! Yeah, it makes sense she's an archer. She has no honor! Oh, Jesus. Ooh! Boy, get my oh, ass kicked. <laughs> I need to start learning to dodge. So the best thing about the higher difficulty is, uh, it's not that the enemies deal more damage. They do, but um, the pace of the battles, the flow of the battles is just a little more natural. It's a little quicker, a little snappier. They're not, like, giving you time. Oh, damn, she's actually killing them. I better get some while there's some to get. Damn, that was a slick animation. <laughs> this is not a game where you're gonna be rewarded for button spamming, so you can't do that. There's horse gameplay as well. Um, I don't know what, how it compares to Red Dead Redemption 2, but let's find out. Oh, I gotta speak with Yuna first. There are samurai horses. Few we didn't take into battle. Lucky for them. And us. Which horse do you want? Far left, definitely. Actually, you know what? That white horse makes her armor pop. But he's got blonde hair. Not a fan. Wow, the entire journey. Okay, this is actually <laughs> this is actually a decision. I thought that it was gonna be like Grand Theft Auto, but you know, with horses. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's go for this one. If I can't choose between Yin or Yang. Let's go for, um... Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of samurai analogies. Dapple. Easy there. He suits you. And he needs a name. Noble, trusty companion.
I wonder if this is actually an accurate representation of the game's map. Castle Canada. They're holding your uncle inside. My god, this looks fantastic. The walls are too high to climb. We could cause a distraction. Sneak in. No. We walk in the front gate. Kotun Khan set fire to our best swordsmen. Humiliated my uncle. Butchered the warriors of Tsushima. I'm going to repay his kindness. By repeating the same mistakes that got your friends killed. That's what the Mongols will think. But this time, I'll strike first. I don't know, man. Won't they have archers? Just man in the walls? That's what I would have done if I was a Mongol. You know, I mean, the Mongols are obviously in the wrong here, but at a certain point, I kind of have to agree with them because some of these traditions of honor, they're nice. <laughs> but, I mean, in war, you know, who's really listening to honor? It's not a perfect world. Okay, this is what I was talking about. You have duels, standoffs, they're called. When approaching an enemy territory, you can challenge foes to a standoff. Once your enemy approaches, hold triangle as soon as they attack, release or defeat them in one deadly strike. That's pretty sweet. Okay. That's actually really fucking cool. That's kind of like Red Dead Redemption 2. I've come for Lord Shimura. <laughs> yes! That was so funny! Luckily, we have a Hantori blade. So sharp it would cut through theirs. So far, so good. You did it. Don't sound surprised. What's all that this is the beginning of the sure. game, though. So, I mean, them off at the beach. I'll probably regret choosing hard difficulty eventually, sooner than later. Oh, Jesus! Like right now. Oh, the spears! God, the spears! They're relentless. Ooh. Ah! I, ooh, my God! Those guys are ridiculous. To be fair, in the future, we'll have another stance learned. Instead of leveling, like, uh, at level 15, you deal 300 points of damage. Instead of that, you have stances and, uh, different techniques that you learn. And we don't yet have the technique that is best to counter something ranged like spears, or even archers or arrows. We don't have the stance for shields, either. So... In that respect, I guess we're at a bit of a disadvantage. However, <laughs> this is this is user error. I'm gonna I'm gonna pony up to that. All right, still no spears, thank God. Yo, Yuna's actually doing a hell of a lot for me with those arrows. She is actually like the most deadly NPC I've encountered. Friendly NPC. Jesus Christ, that was close. Those are the Mongols, right? I mean, so far they've only hit their own kind, so I'm not positive if it is or if it isn't. We can't keep going. I have to fall back. Alone? Keep the path clear. When I find Lord Shimura, we'll need a quick escape. I'll get the horses ready. Do it. If I'm not back soon, ride for the forest. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? What? Where, did the, where the hell did this come from? All right. Stagger enemies. I've been doing this all game. Oh, he's got a stagger meter. Okay, that's new. That's actually really cool. That's really handy. This game has a really minimalist UI, but it's still... It tells you everything you need to know. You don't even need a tutorial uh, for these different UI elements, really. Except for... Resolve. That... Necessitated a tutorial. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're relentless. Oh, my God. 
Okay, I think those are- oh my god. Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Woo! We got him. Finally, our first spear enemy dead. I'm not gonna play the stealth because the stealth isn't really the best way to play Ghost of Tsushima regardless, but it's also a choice. It's kind of a, a story choice as much as it is a gameplay choice. Jin, I feel like just naturally would um, stick toward his samurai roots what he was taught, his his people's culture, I feel like that's something he would embrace, instead of going for stealth like, um, his archery friend would prefer to do. That's another thing, there's always calls. For instance, the, uh, enemy foot soldiers, they're gonna try to, uh, they're gonna try to fake you out, but, when they're faking you out, they're not moving their feet. And this is something that is so goddamn cool, and you just don't see it very often. The archers, um, they're not trying to shoot their own men. Oh, jeez. You gotta earn that health if you wanna heal, boy. And I am currently out. Anyway, um, Jesus Christ. It's part of their training to yell or shout before they let loose their arrows so they don't hit any of their own. Their foot soldiers are trained to, um, have their ears perked at all times for those archery commands. But it's also just a great way to have, uh, balancing against archers. Because that's a mechanic where you pay attention to the archer, and, uh, you won't fall prey to his, to his arrows or his volleys. But it makes sense in the universe is what I'm saying. That's what's so cool about it. That's what's so cool about this game in general is, Oh my god, look at that. Look at those beaches of Tsushima. Um... We're gonna get to exploration as soon as we can. The entire map is open world. There's only one small section that has a loading screen. But other than that, the entire map, you can walk from end to end. No loading screens. And <laughs> it's really, really good. The world design is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna challenge him to a standoff. It's high noon somewhere in the world. Yes! Okay, you know what? Let's not get cocky yet. Woo! Flawless victory! Alright, foot soldiers haven't gotten a shot in yet. Ooh, oh! You know what? We'll deal with shields later. This guy doesn't have any defenses. He's a little quicker to dispatch. You gotta use strategy in this game. This is not a game that's gonna reward button mashing. You gotta pay attention. Show him his nephew, broken and humiliated, begging to join the Mongol Empire. <laughs> this is your time, Lord Sakai. Woo! 
Okay, oh boy. Well, he got a free hit in. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a spear! Jesus! Your uncle is watching. Just like he taught me. Let's go. Damn! Submit, loser guy. Slit your throat! Oh, that cheap son of a bitch! Oh my god! You can't spam! That's not gonna happen! Enough. Surrender. Show your uncle how easily he can bring peace to your home. I realized that was an unwinnable battle I by feel. design, but Jesus. Again. Father. Jin. Help me. Young master, it's time. I'm coming, Yuriko. The whole island has come to mourn your father. Can't you send them away? You must face them, Jin. You are now the master of Clan Sakai. Yes. You're not alone, Jin. Your father is the wind at your back. Your mother, the birds in the trees. And uncle? He will tell you. At your father's pyre. Thank you, Yuriko. If you ever need guidance, Clan Adachi will help you. God, these environments are just gorgeous. Your father protected the people above all else. A true samurai. Save him. I was a coward. Jin, you are a samurai. He died because of me. Your father fell in battle saving his only son. His reward is a warrior's death. Now you will carry on his legacy. Your father's spirit resides within this blade. He is always with you. Tomorrow, 
You will come to my fortress as my ward. Today, say goodbye to your father. How do I save? Here we go. Welcome to Ghost of Tsushima's open world. This is what I have been very excited about ever since the E3 revealed. Look at the prompt, follow the wind. This is a game that doesn't have... This is where this game is next gen. Unfortunately, it's not on the PS5. It will be once that releases, but... Um, this is pushing the PlayStation 4 to its limits, and it obviously looks great, but... What I love, and I really hope... Oh, that, that's the castle. That is... That's so fucking cool looking. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop gushing. This game doesn't have a UI that you have in normal games. You don't have a mini map. You don't have waypoints. You don't have glowing lines throughout the world. Is that a crab? <laughs> he burrowed himself in the sand. That was so cool. Anyway, you don't have glowing arrows. You don't have glowing lines. You don't have a mini map. You have none of that. You don't even have the option for it. The way that you explore this world is organically. They have hints, like the wind, animals, sometimes uh, a certain sort of a bird, which in um, feudal Japan and in, in that culture may signify a certain thing. You know, like a yellow bird, for instance, will bring you to shrines, foxes, etc. But mostly how you will be discovering this world and its secrets is through exploration. Organic exploration, like that in the distance, right above Jin's head, you can see a tower, things like that. Broken branches, you investigate, things of that nature, along with a couple hints like the wind and animals. So, let's get into it. Oh my god. This tickles me. This is what I want to see in the coming generation. Oh shit, Yuna. But this is what I want to see in the coming generation. Open worlds designed like this, without many maps, without glowing stuff. Jin, what happened? I found Lord Shimra. I could have saved him. But the Khan was there. I failed my uncle. At least you're in one piece. I swore to protect this island with my life. But now the Mongols have stolen our home. Killed our samurai. You forgot what it's like to fight someone stronger than you. To feel weak. Sometimes when you're staring death in the face, you have to do whatever it takes to survive. The Khan expects to fight a war against the Samurai. He will anticipate our every move, unless we find new ways to surprise him. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura, and retake our home. You'll need some help. Riders, the Khan's attack dogs. There's too many of them. Hide in the grass. What's up, Clan Gamer 26? Welcome. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. 
Naturally, this isn't a superhero game. You're not meant to take on <laughs> 15 enemies at once. But there are large battles. That's for sure. My god, this looks really good. For those of you saying that the graphics aren't that impressive, keep in mind, this is on a PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 is... it's weak. It's a weak console. It's a fucking awesome console with great games, but it's not nearly as strong as even the Xbox One X. So... It's got that to fight against. But the thing is, I'm gonna talk over some of the dialogue, I'm sorry. This isn't... This isn't a movie live stream. There are no commentary streams. This is, uh... Just us hanging out. Couch style. The Mongols must be hunting you. We should split up. I'll draw their attention while you escape. I'm not leaving your side until we've saved my brother. First, I need to find more allies, trained warriors, like Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi. They can help. My brother can help too. Once we save him, you'll have the island's best blacksmith in your debt. He'll make whatever tool you need to save your uncle. Something to scale the castle walls? You dream it, Taka can make it. Where are they holding him? He was captured near Ketchi. Right there and ask around. I'll join you soon. Taka won't last long in the Mongol cage. You know, we will save your brother. And your uncle. Is this the best opening since the original Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> My god, that looks good. Oh man, that looks amazing. Um... That's, that's really fantastic. Obviously, this may not have, like, the nil sync capabilities of if I was playing this on PC, which this is not available on PC, but the art direction and the grueling loyalty that the developers have shown to portraying an accurate portrayal of feudal Japan as much as they can, as much as they're able to, while having this be a game and not a full-on simulator is just... Um, I am always of the mind, art style over anti thing. <laughs> you know? I mean, if I could play this on PC, that's how I'd be playing it. But, this is, uh, this is breathtaking nevertheless. There is, um, Japanese voice acting for this game, and I'm- you know what, let's check that out right now. Tsushima Island. Thought I was going into the menu, what's this? It's a really beautiful menu is what it is, okay. Also, I want to clarify, um, when I was talking about how this game has, like, next generation world design, in that you don't have a mini-map, some of you guys were saying, Oh, so you mean you explore by using your eyes and look at the open world? Yes, yes, I know. It, it sounds like I was just pointing out the obvious, but the difference is you can turn off your mini-map in most open world games, but this game, the world is designed around no mini-map. The world itself has a certain ebb and flow to it that most games just don't have. Most games, that's one of the reasons why they have a mini-map is because it's a crutch. These are, uh different quests. There's many different types of side quests, and I like that there's a fog of war over this map. This is supposed to be a pretty large map, and it certainly looks like it is. Oh my god, is this the map? Is this... Are you kidding me? Holy shit. 
Okay, wow. Um... I heard that you can explore the entire map with only one loading screen, breaking it up, and I think that might be right there. Oh, no, wait, maybe not, maybe not. That might be the loading screen right there. Anyway, uh, let's choose our, uh, um, quest. I'm gonna go on a recruitment quest. Okay, there's something called Tales in this game, and that's what this is, where... It's more than a... It's a side quest, but it's part of a larger overarching narrative. So let's do this. And the wind guides us. Which is really cool. Oh, that's beautiful. There's grass deformation too, but um, you guys were asking about Japanese voice acting. Let's do it! Let's switch to Japanese. Um, those are all the languages. And... I guess it's it's got to reload the game was unfortunate, but that was so fast! Wow. Okay. Um, the downside to using Japanese voice acting is that the game was not made for it. All the lip syncing, all of the uh, lip tracking, that all the animations and cutscenes and in gameplay are for English. They're not for Japanese, sadly. So that's what you'd be losing out on, aside from the fact that if you don't know Japanese, you will have to read the subtitles while you're playing a game. Movies... Movies, I could care less about subtitles. This is an incredible film. I highly recommend the Criterion Edition, which is what this is. Uh, I'm excited about this as well. I don't know if you guys have seen Tokyo Drifter. I haven't seen it yet, no spoilers. But, um, when you're playing a game, subtitles are a little different. Subtitles are a little, uh, little hard to follow. I don't know if this is our objective up here. Let's see what the wind tells us. I don't believe it is, but we're gonna go check this house out regardless. And I'm gonna move in on foot. By the way, I'm gonna be streaming this game again tomorrow, but tomorrow we're going to be focusing on discovering the secrets of the island. Mongol territory, okay. Damn, this looks really good! Wow. This is a far larger building than I initially thought. Dojo, okay. This isn't our mission, I don't believe. No, this definitely isn't. This is just something we found along the way. It's true the wind is kind of like having a line on your map, but not only does it look better, and also it fits the narrative of the game, but also it's, um... The game, the point still stands. This game's world was designed... Oh, Jesus. Alright, you know what? No stealth for us! Here we go! Oh my god! Oh, they have dogs! Oh, Jesus! Woo! Oh my god, I'm dead already. I'm playing on hard. That's gonna be... That's gonna be our last death. Mark my words, I'm gonna do my absolute best. But this is hard difficulties. It's as difficult as it gets. Oh, shit. You can do stealth, which is probably what I should do if I'm playing on hard difficulty, but... Um... You know what? Let's try it. There is platforming. This is a sucker punch game, after all. Our objective here at this dojo is to recover three banners. And I think I may have just found a way inside. Looks like there might be a blind spot here. Beautiful. Yes, I realize this is in broad daylight. Like I said, pretty much the only negative people have for this game is that the stealth isn't the first priority. Looks like that's what we came here for. At least one of the objectives anyway. Those dogs are vicious. As you can tell, the invasion is very recent. They haven't even cleaned up the bodies. But I don't see any, uh, Mongols either. How do we dismount? 
Jesus Christ. Uh, true to the game's spirit, there are very few tutorials, including platforming. There's been no platforming tutorial. For the most part, it's very straightforward. There's different resources because there is crafting. Sort of. Um, you can customize your outfits through resources, for instance. I mean, this outfit is really trashed. Is it broken? But, if this was good armor, we could use different dyes. Maybe even silks. To customize its color, its shading. There's actually a fair amount of customization, not just with your armor, but with your sword as well. Some of this customization uh, affects gameplay, some of it's just cosmetic. And I believe you can craft things like your smoke bombs. I know you can find them in the world as well, but I think you can craft them. Let's see if it tells me here. It may just mainly be for upgrading your gear. Which I would be okay with. By the way, if you guys can handle it, I would recommend streaming this in 4K. Live streams on YouTube in 4K are a little rough, but... If you can, if you can take it, uh, it looks beautiful. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, it's broken, so there's really no point, but that's awesome. I heard somewhere that you can enter most of the buildings in this game. So I guess that's evidence of it. I'm not really going for a, a stealth approach. So, fuck it. Let's just get some combat in. There's different decisions that you can make in the game, dialogue decisions, things of that nature. I don't know if there's, like, an overall... I don't believe that there is an overall, uh, honor meter, so to speak. Have I not earned the ability to assassinate yet? I think that may be something that you have to learn, a technique. It does not pay to be overly offensive. This is not a button masher. It's, um... It's not like Assassin's Creed. It's not like... I've heard some people compare it to Batman Arkham Asylum. It's not really like that. It's got a little bit of, of all those things, but it's really refined. I've heard people say it's too easy. I've heard people say it's too hard. Um... But I haven't heard anybody say it's not satisfying. Oh, crap, dogs. Wait. Oh, shit! That's fucking awesome! He's checking it out, look at that! Oh my god, there's dog stealth mechanics. Can I... I want to do an assassin on him, but I don't have a hidden blade. I can't pull an assassin, but I can pull a sneaky. Oh shit, there's prisoners. Well, let's take care of the dogs and let's go after them. Those things are beautiful, my god. God, they're huge. But it's not unrealistic. There are dogs of this size. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 no. No! Oh, God! Get out! Get out! Holy shit. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna die. I'm gonna try to fight with honor, but this isn't dishonorable. It's a tactical retreat. It's part of strategy. I think it was, uh... I think Confucius talked about this. Oh, God. <laughs> Wouldn't have been Confucius. Obviously. Um, if you want to heal... You need resolve. This is a mostly grounded game, but you're not... Gonna be picking berries or something. Oh, my God, the dogs! Holy shit, they found me! Ooh, actually, that might be another dog. God, they're so fast! <sighs> Jesus. Oh! Oh! Oh, I still don't have enough resolve for this. Whoa! Duh! No! Jesus Christ! Oh! Damn it! 
got to expect some... That's... That's gorgeous. My God. Ugh. Look at that. Jesus. That could have been the menu screen right there. Okay, well, I'm going to have to... You know what? Let's go after our mission. Where's my horse? Oh, look. It's photo mode. That is beautiful. You know what? We haven't even had a chance to hear... Uh, to hear the in-game dialogue. I recently changed it to Japanese. With English subtitles, of course. Oh god, they found me. In a lot of ways, this is kind of like a Japanese Red Dead Redemption 2. The world follows the same spirit of exploration. Organic exploration. You have a horse. Wow, that was really a shallow observation, wasn't it? No, um, there's a lot of weight to your combat as well, which is something I appreciate. Not your movement. You can platform. The movement's a little more standard than Red Dead Redemption 2, which most people are probably going to be into. Alright, looks like we're approaching it now. While Tsushima is under invasion by the Mongols, you still have areas that aren't necessarily a part of the war. I believe this is one of those areas. We're looking for support for our endeavors and our fight against the Mongol invaders, and we're in a Ask around at the inn and get some information. Wait, the frame rate looks choppy? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the frame rate myself right now. I don't really notice it being choppy. Huh. Hold up, hold up. Let me check. Two seconds. I mean, it's 30 FPS. I don't think the game has... Um... I guess it looks a little choppy. Hold up. Let me try something else. Let me try this. Let me try taking off my face cam. Maybe my... Uh, maybe it's not the game. Uh... Okay. Let's see if that's any better. Give me a second. I don't I don't know if that's the game. It could be. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a I, I don't know. Maybe it is the game. Oh, you know what? I think it is the game. Never mind. Or maybe it is the stream. I can't- I can't tell! It might be YouTube and not my, uh, like, it, it may not be on my end. It may be happening in the pipeline. Like, in the YouTube pipeline. Uh... Two seconds. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Here we go. Yeah, baby. All right. You know what? I think it was my capture card. I've never had that problem before. I don't know. I don't know what caused that problem exactly, but um, thank you for, so much for your patience. Let's go investigate. Uh, see if these people know what we're uh, what we're after. Who are we looking for again? Oh my God! Look at that! Whoa! 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 
Hold on, it looks like we're playing the flute, but I think I just almost committed seppuku. Alright, that's awesome. Well, let's put the flute away. Take the sword out. Commit seppuku. Oh, it's a bow! It's... the sword's on his hip, but it looks like it's going through his stomach! Okay, that makes more sense. Alright, that's awesome. But we are currently looking for... Ishikawa. He never joined the battle against the Mongols at Komoda Beach. If he's still alive. I feel like that's a very nice way of insinuating he may be a traitor. Otherwise, why wouldn't he have been at the battle? Let's find out. This is gonna be in Japanese, by the way. You know what? I hate to say it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus, no! Come back! It was an accident, man! God, you know, I forgave my- I would forgive my parents faster than that when they would stab me. Whoa, look at that environment. Alright, let's head to the inn. The Japanese voice acting does add something. I'm not a weeb, but it does add something, it really does. <laughs> we got some bathing Japanese ladies. Let's go check that out. <laughs> Let's get some uh, appreciation of this culture. Oh, wait, that's a Japanese man. Still, he doesn't have any uh, information for us. You can swim. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. That's pretty cool. I mean, we've got fairly heavy armor, but still, that's impressive. Can you swim in Assassin's Creed? I think you can. Yeah, you can. Ever since Black Flag, of course. Alright. Oh, uh, this is one of the mini-games. This should be interesting. Oh, boy. <laughs> I never really played Guitar Hero. Hmm. Oh, oh god. That's really cool that, that it has an animation for each one. Alright, we're just going straight to, uh... Even though I failed the last one. Alright, okay. Wow, you have to be really fast. In the absence of a leveling system, if you want to improve yourself as a samurai, you partake in it. This is how you make yourself stronger. Training. Discovery. There's shrines as well. But it's a hell of a lot better than just a leveling system. Instead of higher leveled enemies that simply deal more damage, you have different archetypes of enemies. You have different techniques, different stances that you'll need to use uh, to properly combat them. Okay, I actually didn't know that there was like Tomb Raider style climbing. There is parkour, and it looks like there are certain stones that you look out for that you can climb more easily than a blank cliff face. I think this is our objective up here. This is definitely the inn we we're supposed to ask around at. I 
I guess in America you ask the barman. In Japan, you ask um, the janitorial innkeeper staff. ご案内いたしましょう。ご出陣なさらなかったのね。そうだ。戦の前日に村にいらっしゃったんですが、寡黙な御様子で、まあ、いつものことですけどね。あの、先生の伝説は誠ですかね。伝説だと。たった一本の矢で海賊の船を沈めたとか。誠だ。最も射抜いたのは船ではない。海賊の頭だ。怒らせないように気をつけにゃ。後ろめたいことでも。滅相
Okay. Are those Mongol ships or ours? I don't think those are the ships of Tsushima. I believe those are the Mongols. Let's find out why the Sensei was not present at the battle. This is a hell of a dojo he has regardless. My god, this is gorgeous. This game is on a day-night cycle, by the way, and the sun is currently setting. I kind of regret not staying outside whilst the sun is setting. You know what, let's go check out this horizon really quick before we move inside. Tomorrow, I'm going to be live-streaming this game around the same time I am now, but tomorrow it's going to be discovering all the secrets. We're going to go as far as we can into this game's world. I'm not going to be focused on the story, uh, story spoilers tomorrow, so I hope you guys join me for that, but... Uh, let's continue our quest for now. Yeah, this is still very early. This is basically the opening credits. So you got no spoilers. Oh, shit. これは血の跡、新しくはない。見抜かれた後に矢を抜いておる。足跡だ。いたものか、いられたものか、中継逃れられたのやも。My god, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna be ready for a fight, though. <laughs> or a jump scare. What do you want to bet that the sensei thinks that we're one of the Mongols and he attacks initially? Before letting up, realizing it's Jin. Ishikawa-sensei? <laughs> の跡取りか。生きておったとは。小野田で待っておりました。向かう途中で賊に襲われてな。その賊を待ち構えていたと。備えあれば憂いなしと言うだろう。シムラ殿もうち死にか。良き男だったが。無事です。<笑> しかし、とらわれの身に。望みはあるな。実はその件で、お力添えを。できぬ。不祥の弟子に出奔されての。手を貸しましょう。しかるのち何とぞご助力を。遅れを取るなよ。他に生き延びたものはおるか。おりませぬ。では猛虎に手向かうものは。残念ながら他にはござらぬ。なら探さねばな。二人では救出などおぼつかぬ。お弟子殿の居場所は。巴の行く先など知れておる。巴。女子か。生まれは生まれは百姓。だが弓は並ぶものなどおらぬ。お主でさえな。最後にお会いしたのは確か十年前。弟子志願だったな。ご記憶とは。門前払いしたやつは忘れぬ。なぜ私ではなく、友を弟子になさった。お主は言う。Alright, combat time, let's go! That wasn't very samurai of me. Of course, I can't speak Japanese. And it's 2020, I can't do, uh... I can't. Maybe I can do Samurai Grunts. I can do that. I tell you what, though, one of my favorite movies, The Last Samurai. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Samurai, uh, sam Samurai Cinema. 
Obviously, Yojimbo, Seven Samurai, Ran. But, The Last Samurai, huge fan of that movie. Most people don't realize that the title is... Samurai is plural, as well as singular. Uh, and the title of the movie is not referring to Tom Cruise, but rather the samurai that he is taken in by, and he, the samurai that he learns from. It's actually a beautiful movie. I'm gonna try to parry this guy, actually, in order. No! Sensei, wait! The NPCs are too helpful! Unfortunately, I am the one that fights like a drunk tanuki. And not the AI. What the hell? Oh, I thought that was a tanuki tail sticking out of his butt. Oh, well, maybe it is. I think it's a holster. Quiver? No, that's on his back. Damn, this really does look nice. Really nice. This is a side quest, by the way, not a main mission. やずつがあります。わしが与えた海殿の証だ。雰囲を撃たれたな。どうなっておる。うん。友へが矢筒を捨て置くとは。敵から逃れるためか。捕まったか。では今頃。尋問か拷問。あるいは。まさかおじうえも同じ目に。恐怖はもうこの武器。たじろげば奴らの思うつぼぞ。お弟子は伊豆子にいると。中山だ。鳥では近いぞ。You know what? Since we're speaking Japanese, you guys can just read the subtitles. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep their voice volume lower. Um, I don't want to keep harping on about this, but the outfits, the accuracy, the level of detail, the developers are slavishly, um, they're slavishly accurate to uh, 13th century feudal Japan, and it's it's fucking breathtaking. Man, this is... this is really impressive. We wanted an Assassin's Creed in Japan for so long. <laughs> and it's about goddamn time we get a AAA Japanese game. Feudal, Jap Feudal Jap Japan game, I mean. いかがなされたこの弓は数年前に長尾殿から保ったものだ。結構な弓です。そうであろうとも。Wow. I didn't realize they were gonna get a bow. Temainiaru よし。次は奥の灯籠だ。左だぞ。まずまずだ。さらに遠くの的ではどうかな。的が遠ければ矢は落ちると教えたろう。どう思った手に馴染みますな。そうであろう。大事にすることだ。行くぞ。My god, this is gorgeous.
私が入って門を開けます。あとは共に。せいては いれば足止めになるやも。<笑> I'll have to be quick. So, um, this is a half bow, not a full bow, by the way. There's different bows you can get in the game, along with different swords, different armor, etc. What is his... Oh, he's gonna wait until they're closer, I see. Unfortunately, um, I gotta be quick on this. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming this game again tomorrow, around this time. Um, I'll be starting probably in the morning, streaming well into the afternoon. And... I'm just gonna do it all! He's got a fire going. Oh great, you can switch aiming sides. It's fantastic. Good shot! Headshot! Nice! Ooh, we're playing on hard difficulty, by the way, so I cannot afford to make any mistakes. Along with the fact that unfortunately I have an appointment in a couple minutes, but I will be streaming this game again tomorrow. And we're gonna be doing a lot of exploration, we're gonna be finding the secrets of... Tsushima. Exploring the map, discovering its secrets, it's gonna be fucking sweet! And I hope to see you guys tomorrow again, um, but I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to complete this, but with haste. With haste? With speed? With redundancy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. How many arrows do I have? Whoa! Jeez, that's a lot of men. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this. I'll do my best! Oh my god, that guy's huge! Jesus Christ! Oh! Normally... <laughs> shit, 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 shit! Oh my god! This is on hard difficulty, and it's... It's relentless. Ah! Oh. Jesus, I haven't been able to get a strike in edgewise. You know what? I think I gotta change fighting stance. I'm pressing heavy attack and it's doing nothing. Oh, you know what? Okay. That makes... That makes total sense. In certain games, I think it's... Ah, my God! I think Assassin's Creed is one of those games... You can, um... You can hold the block button down, and you can attack while you're holding it down, and you'll attack, releasing the block automatically. You can't do that in this game. This game requires a present mind. This isn't a button masher. You can't just hold the block button down and have it just work as a magic do-anything-you-want button. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
I resolve between now and tomorrow to practice the hell out of sword fighting, practice the hell out of the half bow, the, the long bow if I get that, and tomorrow I'm going to start streaming around 12 p.m. Central Time, 12 CST, and I will see you guys then. Unfortunately, I've got an appointment. I'm very sorry about that. I have brought dishonor upon this stream, but this is your homework. All right, Yojimbo, if you haven't seen it, I recommend this. I recommend Seven Samurai, Ran, Shadow. There's many more, but that's a good start. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, inspired by Samurai Cinema. Regardless, thank you so much for joining me for this. I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. And until then, game massively and fight with honor. I'll see you guys uh, soon, very soon. Um, cool stuff tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, more stuff, can't say anything, I have to take the vow of silence, <laughs> cool stuff soon, thanks guys, and I'll see you tomorrow, take care.